In this video, I'll show you how to run a two-way ANOVA in SPSS. When using one-way ANOVA, you have one independent variable with three or more unique groups called treatments or levels of the independent variable. The two-way ANOVA, also called factorial ANOVA, is used when you have at least two independent variables with any number of levels in each. In my experiment, I want to see how two different cleaners, Scrubby and Silver, clean cooking pans. I have one dependent variable, that's cleanliness, which is measured at the scale level. The two independent variables used are type of cleaner, that's Scrubby and Silver, and water temperature, hot and cold. Both of the independent variables are measured at the nominal level. Every load of dishes was washed independently. Assumptions for the test are normality and equal variances of the populations. The main null hypothesis is that scrubby is equal to silver. This is what we call a main effect. It's the focus of our research. However, we have two types of water, hot and cold, so we're also going to consider that. The null hypothesis for this second main effect is that the means are equal for hot and cold water. We also have an interaction effect. The null hypothesis is no interaction between cleaner and water temperature. That interaction effect isn't the main focus of our experiment, but as we have multiple levels and factors, it is something we have to take into consideration. SPSS will run the test and produce output, which will address all of our null hypotheses. In the variable view screen, I entered the following in the values windows for brand and water. For brand, I have one for scrubby and two for silver. For water temperature, I have one for hot and two for cold. Let's run the test. Click Analyze. General Linear Model, then click Univariate. Click your dependent variable, for us that's cleanliness, then click the arrow to move that to the dependent variable box. Move your independent variables to the fixed factors box. For this experiment, that's cleaner and water temperature. In the univariate estimated marginal means window, click brand, hold down control, then click water. Click the arrow to copy them to display means for box. Click compare main effects, then click continue. Click options. We want descriptive statistics and homogeneity tests. You can change the alpha level here, but I'm going to leave that at 5%. Click Continue, then click OK. Let's look at our two main effects first. Those were brand of cleaner and water temperature. Here are the means. The question becomes, is there a difference between 56.74 and 55.125? In other words, is the main effect of brand of cleaner statistically significant? Here's our water main effect. We want to know if there's a significant difference between the means of 62.735 and 49.13. Before we go any further, we need to check Levine's test. The null hypothesis is one of equal error variances for all groups. This is one test where you don't want to reject the null hypothesis. If you do reject the null hypothesis here, two-way ANOVA is not appropriate for your data. All of our p-values are very large, much larger than 5%, so the assumption of equal variances has been met. Here's our main results. Cleanliness levels when using scrubby or silver are not significant. 0.6 is 
larger than 0 0.05, so we can't reject the null hypothesis. Any differences are probably due to chance. We can say the main effect of brand was not significant. However, the main effect for water temperature on cleanliness was found to be significant. The p-value here is less than 0 0.001, much smaller than 5%, so we can reject the null hypothesis. We can say that water temperature significantly influences cleanliness levels. The interaction effects of brand and water temperature were also found to be not significant. 0.141 is much larger than 0.05. We can conclude there's no significant difference between brands on level of cleanliness. However, temperature of water does make a difference. If we go back to descriptive statistics, we can see that hot water has a much higher mean, and this was found to be significant. In other words, washing dishes in hot water makes a difference, no matter what brand you use. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.